Fairmouth. Their tight end is back in the lineup. He's been out the last six weeks with a hamstring injury, and the Steelers are hoping to get it going through the air. Countdown to kickoff continues, and good old... A whole lot of blue sky here in Northeast Ohio. Temperature at 49 degrees. Expecting sunshine throughout the afternoon. Wind, as always, could play a factor. The Steelers and the Browns, both teams enter action at 6-3. and three. Pittsburgh won the toss. They've deferred to the second half. Deshaun Watson, the news breaking on Wednesday, and Kevin Stefanski told his team before it went public, spoke with the team to set the proper message of what the next move would be, explaining what was going on with Deshaun and the fact that Dorian Thompson-Robinson would be taking over as the starting quarterback and maintaining the same message that he got to reemphasize. Do your job. Boswell kicks it off. And a touchback coming out to the 25-yard line, and that's where... But how much do you protect him? Are you just going to hand it off inside and hope your big offensive line can wedge some holes and create... They're down there, two tackles, as Evan mentioned at the top of the show. So you've got Christian in there at left tackle, Hudson at right tackle, Dewan Jones, who did not play, did not suit up last week, is active. They might work him in on certain third down plays. At least that was the initial plan from Coach Stefanski. Amari Cooper, the numbers have been excellent. Six catches, 98 yards last week. And a flag down. Timeout Pittsburgh, their first of the half, 30-second timeout. They had 12 men on the field. They realized it. They made a lot of substitutions after the first down, and you're exactly right. They realized they had 12 on the field, got the quick timeout to avoid the penalty. When we talked to Mike Tomlin about this matchup, he said, look, there's familiarity when it comes to division rivals, but then there's a whole other level to it. You start shaping your roster based on these games. You draft particular players with games like this in mind. You, you think division to get to the playoffs the quickest way? Win your division. That's why people draft. Win your division first. Second down and six. It's Ford again. Not much of a hole. He's not going to go down. And eventually they're going to whistle it down after he picks his way for two and a half yards. Sets up third down now for Cleveland. Defensively for the Steelers, this defense, because of what they can do out on the outside between Watt and Highsmith, it changes the way that you prepare. They've got a rookie quarterback. They're going to try to show them a number of different looks and disguise things to try to confuse him. Disguise, try to confuse him, and create one-on-one -on -one matchups for Highsmith and Watt to rush the passer when you get him into passing situations. 18 takeaways this season, tied for first in the NFL. DTR using his legs for a first down, but a penalty marker is down. The big difference between this and his first start, they've had all week to tailor the game plan for him as opposed to the last minute decision that he was in there because of an injury to Watson. Offside. Defense number 24 was lined up in the neutral zone. This penalty declined as the play results in a first down. It's Joey Porter Jr. and it doesn't matter now because Thompson Robinson got the first down with his legs. So you're going to see the pull on the back side, but Joey Porter Jr. lining up in the neutral zone as he's trying to get into press man coverage. And why is this play call available for Kevin Stefanski? Because it was third and short. Gave him a chance to use his athletic ability. Flip it underneath. Elijah Moore, Swiss Army knife for this Cleveland offense. And gets a five-yard gain on the catch and run. Hit by the linebacker, Alandon Roberts. A little more responsibility for Roberts, who is now the communicator after the injury to Quan Alexander, who had replaced... Cole Holcomb, who got injured the previous week for Pittsburgh. The third main communicator for them at the linebacker position this uh, this season. And you go back to what you talked about with Dorian Thompson-Robinson having more time to prepare. Also, the believability. He knew he would start today. He didn't he didn't really know that against the game against Baltimore because he thought that Watson would play. Out of the gun. DTR rifles to Cooper. He's got a first down. It's 11 yards. 
and their ability to run the football. And look at that route. That's a master class in route running by Amari Cooper because he gives him the little move off the top, takes him outside and forces Joey Porter to make that move with him. And then a quick, sharp cut inside. And Dorian Thompson Robinson on target with that pass. And Cleveland now in Pittsburgh territory. Browns came in 17th in the NFL in total offense, 11th in scoring. Obviously, uh, they've had quarterbacks in and out of the lineup with Watson and P.J. Walker. It's a give to Ford, and there's not much there. So the backlash Dobbs has been on quite an odyssey this year after the Browns elected to trade him. But they believed in Dorian Thompson-Robinson as their backup, and now... He's the starter. And he expects to show exactly why they kept him today as opposed to the Baltimore game. And that pass offline looking for Najoku, the tight end, and it's now third and ten for Cleveland. Now, what have we seen early from Cleveland? Exactly what you would expect, right? Trying to establish the running game when they did throw the ball. Easy throws for him. Nice sharp in-breaking route. But this is the first third and long. The, fir the, third, the first third down they had, they were able to run a quarterback run game, use his legs. Now it's third and ten. This is where we find out what's going to happen in terms of turning loose pass rushers and how they're able to protect. It looks like Dewan Dewan Jones is in at right tackle. Well, there you go, on a third down. Dime package here for Pittsburgh. Short wrap, four, trying to create after the catch. And two Steelers there to greet him. Picks up three and a half yards, including Keanu Benton. What a whale of a rookie season he is starting to have getting opportunities, run stuffer out of Wisconsin, a second round draft pick playing with a lot of confidence right now. He certainly is, and he did an ex excellent job against Green Bay. Six tackles that game, pass broken up, provided pressure inside and the pass rush. But remember, let's keep an eye on this game. How does Cleveland live on offense and third downs? Is it third and four or less, or third and seven and more? If we're in the third and seven and more, Pittsburgh has the advantage, obviously. Thompson Robinson had three interceptions of that start against Baltimore. The theme all week, do not turn the ball over. They'll accept punts and put their defense on the field. Ball Horquez places it nicely inside the five, and that's where Cleveland touches it. Pittsburgh's going to open up deep in its own territory. Well-placed 35-yard kick. It will be Kenny Pickett in the Steelers' offense on the... Kenny Pickett gets drilled by Miles Garrett. But they are determining he was not in the end zone. They're going to place it inside the one. And, and what Cleveland did was they blitzed the nickel. Nickel defensive back and created an opening and a one-on-one -on -one for Miles Garrett, who works inside of Dan Moore, the offensive tackle and dumps Kenny Pickett. They thought it was a safety, but as you noted, Ian, they marked him down just short of the goal line. I think Pittsburgh wants to be aggressive throwing the ball, but what a spot that was there. And during the break of the action, the officials hold up and actually placed the ball at the nine. Trying to run out of the end zone, Najee Harris. The Browns think they have a safety again. The again. officials are gonna spot it just across the goal line. Dalvin Tomlinson down. along with Taki Taki. That was the previous play. See, I think they had a case for a safety there. Because because of where Kenny Pickett was and the ball in the end zone. <laughs> I, think, I think Pittsburgh is fortunate that two points didn't go on the board there. So now third and 18. 